Interestingly enough, I mean, what some people have said, and this is really cool, is that because there's so many Striper fans that couldn't listen to that kind of music in the past, right. because it, from somebody that they felt they couldn't follow, so to speak, now that Striper's doing it, now it became something totally different to them, right. which is really great. Yeah. I mean, that's a great compliment. Like one yeah. guy said on YouTube that we made heaven and hell a Christian song. <laughs> it's like, well, the thing is, is if you read those lyrics... There was one line that was a little questionable that was like, okay, what does he mean by that? And I think it was the line, uh, you've got to bleed for the dancer. So that line was left out. I just repeated, uh, you look for the answers. Um, but, you know, those lyrics, you read those lyrics, and they're really lyrics that we would have pinned and felt comfortable doing so ourselves. I would love to sit down and jam with Steve Vai someday. That would be really cool. <laughs> I've met him a few times. He's a great guy, but but I've never really had a chance to really sit and hang out with him, and that would be cool. That'd Joe be cool. Joe Bunamasa as well. Uh, he's my favorite player right now, hands down. I think he's Eric Clapton's favorite player too. He's he's brilliant because he's he, the tone and the musicianship and the singing ability. He's a brilliant singer. He's just like the whole package, man. He's so talented. <laughs> Us doing a, an album like this is is kind of a cry to get back to what music was, because nowadays I just feel like it it all sounds the same. It's all kind of been processed over and over and over, you know. And 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 what a great colorful picture of what music was back in those days. It was fun too. It yeah. was like music was just I miss, fun. I miss the album artwork. You know, I mean, there was like a vinyl album that sometimes you got to open up and see artwork on the inside. We just had Jordy White come out to the show, uh, who as well, uh, as far as I know as a believer, we have, I'm in contact with Dan Spitz from Anthrax, who's a f absolute devout Christian. Uh, you know, and we've come in contact with a number of people over the years who are, who have committed their lives to Christ. You know, everybody knows about Brian Head Welch, who, who's a believer, and uh, Dave Mustaine, you know. Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper and, and Nico from and Maiden. I mean, it, it's just, it's a long list that's ever growing uh, of, of believers and people who are committing their lives to Christ, and that's just incredible to see. Um, it's even more incredible to hear that maybe we played a small part in that, you know, and, and we do get that on occasion as well. But it's really cool, man. I, I you know, just met with Rudy Sarzo not long ago, and um, he's he's a believer as well. And just, it's so cool to see these guys and sit one on one with them and talk to them and hear how much they respect God and love God. That's cool know? about Rudy because he comes from the Aussie camp. You know? Yeah. <laughs>
That's why we do what we do. That's why we do what we do. We get flack for it from the church, but that's why we go into bars. We're sitting here in one. And we try to bring the message and, and be a light in the dark, you know. And that's the whole point of this band. That's our calling, you know. You just, yep. just follow your heart, you know. And, and that goes for mending relationships, starting new relationships, job, work, music, whatever it is. Follow your heart and you'll be fine, you know. And give it, give it every ounce of your being, you know. Give it your best and the rest will fall and, in place. And if you want to be that, that outstanding person... Just, you know, as far as an artist or, you know, you really got to have great songs and you got to practice, you know, you got to yeah. really work at it. Last, in the, actually, in the last like half a decade, I, I taught myself to read music, and um, and and I have to say, a it's great to be able to do it and play. But I, I mean, when I playing on stage, I don't sit there with music in front of me. I mean, I pretty much just play from my heart um, and all the tricks and licks that I grew up learning. Like I said before, and and uh, so I mean, in one aspect, it's good to know it if you're trying to teach somebody music in my opinion at least it doesn't necessarily mean you're you have to know it to be a great player Stop. 